Hello, third grade, and happy Wednesday. I hope you are all finding your work well. And we are going to get started here on our handwriting lessons. Make sure you have your handwriting book ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera here so you can see my table. Oh, there we go. Now, you need your handwriting book, and you also need your whiteboard. It's going to be very, very helpful and learning cursive. So let's review what we learned last time. We worked on a lot. So we have learned I, you. Practice those. We've learned I, we have learned you, we have learned, oh, I can't forget T over here. I U T, and we also worked on W. Well, we worked on all of these because they're very similar, except for this W's check stroke right here. They all have that under curve here, that under curve. And then we also worked on E. Are you learning how to read your cursive writing? If you don't know how yet, make sure you turn to page 17. And on page 17, you have all your cursive and manuscript matches, and you can practice how to read your cursive writing from there. And also, take a look at all of the words on each of these pages and see if you can read them in cursive. So we've practiced all of these so far. We've learned. One, two, three, four, five letters. So your dry erase board today, this is what I want you to do. I want you to just practice each of these letters. I want you to practice I over again, U over again, T over again. Then I want you to, oh, and E. I love the E, because it has that loop. I want you to try to connect these. I'm going to try to connect I to a T, and then a T to a W. We're not going to make any words, but it's still fun. It's still lots and lots of fun. So, yeah, I'm going to try to do a W now and connect that to an E. Oh, and then a T. Look, I actually made a word. Do you know that word? W-E-T, wet. Now, is that the most perfect cursive? No, but that's why we're practicing. I could probably do that one a little bit better. I could probably go make my W fancy like I was supposed to with that under curve. And then go up. There's my check stroke. And then I'm going to add that E. And then that T. And the big fat E. So using your dry erase marker is very helpful when learning cursive because it slides and glides super easy and so you can get those hand motions. So what I want you to do, I want you to practice your eye. Let's go over the eye again. I want you to practice your eyes, your use. Your W's, that check stroke, your T's, and your E's. Whoops, you didn't see that last one. I'll do it again. And your E's today. And you could just do them straight in a line, just like that. I. 
W T E. Keep practicing those over and over again. Fill up your board. Have you practiced writing your name yet? If you have it, you should give it a go. It's fun. Look on page 17. Page 17 shows you what all of the letters look like. And you can practice your name on your whiteboard. All right, let's look at what we're going to be doing today in Closer Writing. We are going to work on two pages. We're going to work on 38 and 39. So here we are going to work with our L's, which are fun, and our B's, L and B. Don't forget to practice the ones that you know. If you don't practice and if you don't use it, you lose it. Remember that, my friends. So you should have a pencil handy dandy right near you. And what we're going to do is we're going to trace these and get a feel for them before we practice them on our whiteboard. So I want you to look at the, uh, the L, excuse me. And that also has an under curve. I love these little check boxes here because um, it shows you, well, it tells you what you need to do. Under curve, loop back, slant, under curve. Sometimes that helps us. It helps us to say what the movements are as we're doing it. It really does. Lots of lumber. Let's try it. Under curve, loop, back, slant, under curve. Under curve, loop, back, slant, under curve. Under curve, loop, back, slant, under curve, under curve, loop, back, slant, under curve, under curve, loop, back, slant, under curve. Keep doing that. And say the movements as you do it. It really does help. It really does help a lot. Now that we have a feel for it, before we do it on our lines, let's do it on our whiteboards. We ready? We go. Under curve, loop, slant, under curve. Kind of looks like a big E. So E is smaller. It's pretty much like the same movements. I'm going to fix my slant here. So the L goes all the way up and it's a little bit thinner at the top. So we go under curve, loop. And up. Can you make two L's together? I bet you can. Three. What about three? Look at me connecting them. If you can connect them, that's fun. Now, are those the best L's in the world? Probably not. But hey, it's cursive writing. It's not supposed to be perfect. Handwriting, we just do our best. Practice makes better, not perfect. Remember that. All right, I want you to practice that a few more times on your whiteboard until you feel confident enough to do it on your paper. If you have to, go back over these again. And then start with the training wheel dots and do your best. Remember, it helps to slant your book a little bit. Turn your book to the side. It helps to slant and up. Oh, slant and up. Oh, that one's definitely better. Remember to circle your best one. See, that one's a little bit fat. Am I going to erase it? No. Why would I do that? I'm practicing. I'm just going to work to make it better. I'm just going to work to make it better. Boom. Oh, that one's so much better. I would circle that one out of all three of those that I've done. Remember the circle? The oh, I'm getting better. Look at that. Practice all the way to the stop sign and do it again on the next line. Here, we are connecting L's and I's. Practice that. Here, we're connecting L and an E, an L and a T, an I and an L, an E and an L, and a W and an L. Remember that check stroke? Makes it like a little hump there. The W, notice that. Don't forget that. 
when you're doing a W, a W has that chip stroke. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna copy this after we trace it right below it. We're gonna do our best. If you want to use it your whiteboard to do it, I suggest you do that first before attempting this part. Then we're going to write real words down here. You're going to write lit, let, tell, and will. And what I want you to do is really get out that whiteboard and practice these. Practice connecting that L with the I. Oh, I'm going to spell will now that I know how to... Ooh, look at that. Is that perfect? No, but it's cursive. It doesn't need to be perfect. Especially now, we're learning something new. Remember our health lesson? Gotta have that growth mindset. Got to have that growth mindset. Here we have tell. I'm gonna go ahead and do well. I am doing well. Are you? So, use your whiteboard. It's there. It's your best friend during this virtual learning. You know I always turn to the handy dandy whiteboard, especially for handwriting. We use it a lot for handwriting and math. So you have these two to complete. Remember to copy it right below it and do your best. Do your best. That's all you can do. That's all Mrs. Gosnell is looking for when I collect these. That's what I want to see. I will be collecting these. So make sure you're getting your work done. Don't think you're just doing this handwriting and I won't be looking at it. I will be collecting these books. All right. We are on page 39 now. But... I think we're going to take a break. I think we're not going to move on to 39 until next week because I really we're, we're really learning a lot here and I want us to take our time. So what we're going to do is really practice with our whiteboards today. I want you to practice the letters that we've learned so far. We learned L today. I want you to practice that E, that W, and that U, and that T. All these pages should already be done. If you've been doing your Wednesday's lessons like you're supposed to, they should be done. And then 38 is all you have to do today. Because that's a lot of practice. Because I really want you to practice on your whiteboards. Um, and remember, practice makes better. And remember to have that growth mindset. That growth mindset goes a long way when learning something new. That growth mindset. You can do it. That you can do it attitude. You can do it. And also try to practice your name today. Have fun with this. Bye, third grade.